Okay, so what I want you to zero in on first are this runner's hips, uh, right in this region here. Okay, so right foot strikes, and we're going to measure the angle here. Not much of a hip drop there. We're talking two, three degrees maybe. That's well within the, the, the limit. Uh, so we're, we're good to go there. And then let's look at the other side and not so much. So, I mean, just eyeballing it, you can tell there's a pretty significant difference as far as the, the left to the right. So um, let's measure this angle here. And we're looking at 18, 19 degrees, you know, maybe 17, which is way too much. So this is indicative of what's called a Trendelenburg gait where uh, this runner's gluteus medius, which is used as a hip stabilizer, has stopped firing. So it, basically this runner's running uh, on very low stability and as the miles really pick up, uh, is going to predispose himself to, to overuse injuries. So that's the first uh, significant thing we're seeing with this runner's gait. Uh, next thing I want you to focus in on, I'm going to be looking at this region here and more specifically the angle of this runner's feet when uh, when he's running through his, his gait there. So first his left as you can see here, there's not much internal or external rotation. It's pretty much uh, straight up and down, which is what we want. Okay, compared to the other side, and not so much. Let's measure this angle here. We're looking at 15, 16 degrees, way too much. Let's look at it one more time. Straight up and down. And again, 15, 16 degrees. So what this tells us is this runner's internal rotators of his hip are more than likely very tight or have a buildup of adhesion, scar tissue, and just aren't moving like they should. Uh, throughout this runner's gait. So um, this told us all we needed to know moving forward as far as giving treatment recommendations and rehab recommendations. So we're going to switch over here to the right hand side of the screen. And so this next video was taken uh, two days after we did the initial assessment. And uh, let's look at the differences that were made uh, just off two days of, of work. Okay, so again, this we're going to compare angles here. So if you remember uh, previously, this runner had a 15, 16, 17 degree hip tilt. Uh, just having him do some pretty intense gluteus medius activation and strengthening exercises, look at the difference there in, in two days. So we've, we've dropped 10 degrees on hip drop, which, which tells us, okay, this runner's already uh, running a whole lot more stable. So very happy to see that. Uh, next thing we want to compare is how the feet look. So again, left side goes through, looks good. And let's look at what's going on on, on the right. So if you remember on the other side, uh, you know this foot rotated out approximately 15, 16 degrees and we've already got it down to 10 degrees. So um, not perfect, but this is a, a, this tells us we're on the right track as far as how we're approaching this runner. And again, this was after one treatment. So the, the treatment consisted of ART, um, active release technique on this runner's internal rotators, primarily his adductors, his medial hamstrings, and his TFL.